The number one type of ad that I teach my course creator students to run is the list building ad. But in order to get less expensive subscribers, you're going to need a higher click through rate. The best way to increase your click through rate is to write more compelling copy. And in this video, I'm going to show you the seven elements your ad copy should have to get you the highest quality subscribers still at the lowest cost. My name is Claire Pelletro and I am a Facebook and Instagram ad consultant and I have spent millions of dollars literally running list building ad campaigns for my clients. The hardest part of the whole thing for me is writing the copy. So I actually created an ad copy template for myself so that I could write ad copy faster and now I'm going to show you every single piece of it. If you just want to go ahead and download the template instead of taking crazy notes here, go right ahead. Visit clairepels.com forward slash ad copy template, which we've also got linked below. Now let's get right into all seven of those elements. Remember, these are if you're writing ad copy for webinar ads, challenge ads, opt-in ads, basically anything that you're using to grow your subscriber list. The very first piece that all compelling ad copy needs is the hook. That's just the first couple of lines that gets people to stop in their scroll and actually pay attention. Now, a lot of people will start out their ads, will write their hook in the form of a question. And those questions can help the viewer, the Facebook user, identify whether or not this ad is something they should pay attention to or not. For example, one question might be thinking about becoming a coach, but have no idea how to replace your full-time income with that kind of work. Or tired of constantly yelling at your kids without feeling like it's actually making a difference in their behavior. So the people would either say, no, that's not me, and they continue scrolling, or they're going to stop and see, oh, this is something that has been, you know, created for me, somebody in my particular situation. So I'm going to click the see more button and actually check out what they have to say. The other way that I love to start out ads is with a really bold statement, something that's probably pretty controversial. For example, email marketing is dead. Now, if you disagree with that statement, you're going to put it in quotes because then you're going to use your ad copy to talk about why that's BS. Or it might be something that you actually believe. Either way, it's going to get people's attention. Another idea is, quote, if you don't get to the perfect career by 35, your chances of being successful are basically zilch. Now, you once again, you could either agree with that statement and therefore you wouldn't have any quotes or if it's something you're going to dispel in your ad copy, you would put it in quotes. And then the next part would actually have to talk about why you disagree with that. The second element is really just describing the problem. And a lot of copywriters would say, name the problem and then agitate it, like poke at the pain points more. I just basically go into more detail about what the problem is. So again, if we're thinking about that uh, ad copy for somebody who might be considering becoming a coach, thinking about becoming a coach, but you don't know how you're going to replace your full-time income, then you would start to actually describe the problem. And maybe the problem is lots of people will tell you that becoming a life coach is easy, but they don't actually teach you the business side. So then you get out of these trainings, you try to get clients and you actually have no idea what you're doing. Then, and here's where you would really draw that story out, really articulate the problem and get very specific with it. In that ad copy template download that I've got, I actually include real examples of how you would do that. So again, grab the link in the description to download that. And you can see exactly how some of these examples flesh out using the different elements. The next element, number three, is to actually introduce your opt-in. Tell people that you have a way to solve that problem that you just described. For example, you might say, so before you quit your job, enroll in some intensive coaching program, I have a proposal for you. 
Come learn the truth about what it takes to build a successful coaching practice in my live webinar, The 13 Steps to a Thriving Coaching Practice. There you've just given them the opportunity to solve their problem, at least start to solve their problem with your help. The fourth element is what I call the in this webinar you'll learn, or maybe it's in this PDF or free report, or after this challenge you'll have accomplished. So this is really where we're just talking about exactly what they're going to get in the thing that you are offering them for free. For example, in this webinar, you'll learn two things new coaches do that end up costing them thousands of dollars in revenue and up to two years of serious business growth. The real secret to getting clients, even if you don't have any experience, spoil alert, it has nothing to do with traditional marketing. The 13 steps you can't overlook if you truly want to make a career out of coaching and how to batch them together to fast track your way to success and my trick for establishing an online presence for your coaching practice in as little as 20 minutes a week. Now I completely made up these bullet points, but what I tried to do is make them extremely specific and even start to overcome some objections. So that one objection about like 13 steps that feels like it would be really hard. Well, I've also got something in the bullet point about how to batch them together so that it doesn't take forever. The fifth element is to describe the desired outcome or the benefits of whatever free thing you're giving away. So this time you're actually going to be hitting on the positives, not so much the pain of the problem. So you might say, if you're ready to leave your job, never commute again, make great money and transform people's lives, there you've just outlined all the benefits of actually transforming oneself into a coach, then comes the next element, the sixth one, and that is give people a call to action. Tell them exactly what to do. You would be surprised at how clear you need to be sometimes. You can't just assume that people are going to know what to do if you throw a link in front of them. So tell them, sign up for the free webinar. Click download and grab my free report or free checklist or whatever it is. Click this link and then put the link to learn more or to save your spot. If it's for some kind of webinar challenge, something that's live. Okay. Don't be afraid to tell people explicitly what to do. And the seventh element is actually the link. Now, I used to run ads without putting any link in the text at all. Now, I'll put one, sometimes two links throughout the text. If I am introducing my opt-in higher up in the ad copy, I might link to it and then talk about the desired outcome or what you're going to learn, right? So you could actually pepper a couple links, I would say no more than two throughout your ad copy. Now, the other part of writing successful ad copy is actually trying out a bunch of different things. So when you create your ad, make sure you're testing probably two versions of your copy. One thing you could do is write your ad copy using all of these steps using my template and then just change your hook, right? So you could have the exact same ad copy, but the only thing that's different is the hook because that can be the difference between people just scrolling on your ads and then clicking that see more button to actually read more about what you have to offer. So just change up the hook to start, you know, if you're going to use a question at the beginning, then try the bold statement or a very different question and see which of the two versions of copy performs best. If you want to learn more about the best way to grow your list with ad copy, I've got two videos for you right now on the screen for you to check out and maybe see if you can improve your cost per lead with those two techniques. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next video, which might be an important update about Facebook and Instagram strategies that work. Thanks for watching.